What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video tonight, I'm gonna to talk about something a little bit different. I would like to review a tool set that I've been using for a number of years. I'm sure it's a brand that everyone has heard of. I picked up a half inch set of their sockets and you know I've been using them for the guts of 10 years now and I really want to make a review. So the socket set that I'm going to review tonight is in fact the Baco half inch S240 model. This one I bought way back in 2011. So it was actually a friend of mine that works in a tool suppliers introduced me to Baco. I had heard of the brand, but I'd never really been exposed to it before. I didn't actually own anything they had produced. So I got a good price on it. I put my faith in what he advised me as well. So this is, yeah, this is pretty much going to be my, my nine slash 10 year review. Let's check them out. So this is their half inch socket set, the S240. I can see that almost 10 years later, this is this product is actually still for sale uh, at the moment, which means that it obviously has stood the test of time. So you can see in the number of sockets, we've got everything from 10 mil all the way up to 32. Now it does skip a few in between. You've got the likes of 24, 22, 23, 24, and I think it jumps to like 27, 30 and 32 first thing that struck me in the store when i opened the box to check it out was actually the sheer weight of the the ratchet alone but the sweetest part about this entire socket set that i found this is what really got me into it was that it is just a hexagon six-sided socket set so it, what that means is for rusty nuts and bolts that are not really true to their size this thing is not going to spin uh, it doesn't really wear like the previous sets that I had, they wore on the edges here really easy and that caused the sockets to slip over the rusty nuts, which ends up just rust rounding the bolts and then you yeah, gotta got to go out with your angle grinder or whatever else and try and cut them off. And just over here, you've got a half inch flexi bit. This one is actually really helpful if you've got like a, a really tricky angle to get into down on an engine bay or maybe something like that and then you've also got the 3 8 into half inch socket set one of the problems i had before my previous sets when you had the socket engaged on this set if it got too much of a bang the socket could end up falling off and that's really annoying if you especially drop it down under an engine bay or it hits the floor and rolls far away from you. What I really liked about this is that the socket won't actually engage into the ratchet until you press this button here on the back. This is a really heavy duty button. There's a good strong feel to it. So you got to press that in and then the socket will fully engage just like that and it won't fall out at all. On the back of the ratchet here, you can see you've got uh, clockwise set. And also your anti-clockwise set. You can see back here you've got your your basically your solid half inch bit as well. This is really helpful for you know when you're removing really heavy duty nuts and bolts that are, are not going to budge. You need to put some extra leverage on there. You've got short half inch extension, and then you've also got your your long extension as well. I've used this set from anything you can imagine, from taking off wheel nuts to actually dismantling the two entire cars and rebuilding them nut, nut and bolt uh, from scratch. I mean, they were pretty much bare shells when I put them back together, and this set has, has not let me down. In fact, I was actually so impressed with this set that I had to go out and invest in the 318 inch set as well. So I've, I've actually had this about four years now as well. I'll throw up another video about this one, put a link down in the subscription when I do upload it. Uh, I'll talk about this one more in detail and what I'm going to do invest in next regarding tools. But I have to say overall with the backhoe, just the, the durability and the quality of the box and the tools, I, I'm really impressed for the price point. You just can't beat it. I just wanted to provide like an honest, almost 10 year review for anyone, a DIY weekend job that you might need them for, or for the likes of me that would use them every weekend, but also maybe a couple of times during weeknights days at the track when you're in a rush to get a car repair to get it back out on on track again to fulfill your day uh, these things do get thrown around the place and at the end of a long hard day on track you just want to fire them into the back of the trailer or the back of the, the the jeep or whatever and and just get home so that's going to be it for a wrap for today's video guys thanks so much if you've tuned in and made it this far i really hope you found this review helpful if you have any other comments or questions or tips or advice on the videos if you want to just put them in the comment section down below i'll i'll definitely get back to you Thanks for tuning in guys, I'll catch you next time.